So you're a console streamer and you're streaming to Twitch from the Twitch app on your device and you want to have overlays and alerts, but you don't have a PC and are only streaming from the device and you want something similar to maybe this? Well, I've got you today. Stick around. I'm going to show you a free Twitch extension that's going to save the day. Here we go. Um, yeah, so, uh, so, so we have merch, um, darkincyrus.com. Go support it. Before we get into anything, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's supporting the channel by watching these videos and subscribing. If you haven't and you want to see more content like this, throw that thumbs up, give me a subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you can see all of the videos that drop when they come out. I also stream on Twitch three days a week and would love for you to check me out over there. Also, join the Darkness Discord. The link for that is in the description. We have a community full of streamers and we would love for you to join us and have a bunch of conversations with us about what you're doing and let us support you as well as get some free stuff like alerts and designs that I'm providing to you that I've created. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get into this new Twitch extension. So the extension is called Overlay Expert and in my previous video, which I'll link up here, I briefly touched touched on it, but we're actually going to go in depth with it today. I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, overlay that you saw at the beginning of this video and show you how to get it onto your setup. So without further ado, let's get in the computer and let me show you that process. All right, so we're over in Twitch and if you've never found extensions before or if you're new to this, you have to have a computer to set this up and you could do web browser or desktop mode from your cell phone, but this should be very simple to set up. And once you get in there, it's done it's completed and you don't have to do any more of it. But to get to your extensions, you need to click your avatar in the top right corner and go to the creator dashboard. This is going to take you to where you can do all of your features, see all your activity feed, your chat. You can watch your stream as it's going. It's going to give you a bunch of information. But on the left hand side, you're going to see extensions. Click that and it's going to take you to a page full of things that you can add to your stream to give it a little bit of extra flair or to be able to connect better with your viewers. We're going to go ahead and go to the, the search bar and we're going to type in overlay and it's the very first one that pops up for me called overlay expert. You're going to click install and follow the prompts and then we're going to go over to my extensions to be able to put it onto our stream. Now we're going to walk through the entire setup process for overlay expert but I want to get a couple things out of the way. Number one, this is going to be only viewable on the website version of Twitch. It's not on mobile yet, but support is coming for it. Make sure you join their Discord. I'll link their Discord for Overlay Expert in the description below, and you can get all the updates for what's going to be coming out, all the new features. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I set up the overlay that I showed you at the very beginning, and then I'm going to show you some gameplay with that overlay on the top of it. I played some Destiny 2, stream from the Xbox, and let it go ahead and connect for me and we'll show you that. But let's get into setting this up. So step one, we're going to click the gear beside overlay expert and it's going to go straight to choose an overlay for me. For you, it's going to have a bunch of things where you need to connect and integrate your Twitch chat and Twitch channel into the overlay expert. So make sure you follow those prompts. Eventually you will find yourself to this screen. And this one right here that says orange carbon, this is the one that I've already edited. So I'm gonna go into it and just show you a couple of the things in here that I've done and just mess around with a little bit so I can show you what each thing means. So what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about the screen and everything that goes on. So the stuff on the right side of the screen is where we're able to edit all the information that pops up on the overlay. So we're going to go ahead and talk about what's in each spot and how I got it to this point. So the overlay was completely created. All these were just defaults. I just put in the text, so I'm going to show you some of that. So on the top right, this is where I've got all of my subs. And, or this is, I think I've just clicked top left. So I'm going to rename this one follows because up on this corner, this is my latest follower and it says GM streams. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go down to the content area and scroll to the very bottom. And you're going to see where it says add a new text group right now. I've got it set for last follow. I've typed in last follow and then they have an assortment of predefined uh, Twitch items that you can put in there. You can see that you can put a timer, 
Uh, you can do all of your social handles. Once you click one of these, it'll ask you to connect your social handle. And that's how I was getting this at the bottom. But you've also got things like your follows, your recent follows, subscribers, your recent subscribers, your sub points, your cheers, uh, anything from pretzel rocks. And then you can continue down and add more images that are already preloaded in through the program or stuff that you've uploaded, which you can do and put your own images in here. So what we're going to do is it says new content item. I'm going to go ahead and change this to latest follow. And I'm going to put recent followers. And one of the things that you do is when you click the item that they've got for you, it'll say number of followers to show. You can change this and have just a scrolling banner of people who were your last people or you can say like who's my last five subscribers or who is my last five followers or who is my last However many, if you want to show all your subscribers as they go past, like a credit roll, you can do that. So what I'm going to do is just put my, just put one and then I'm going to hit the check box at the top and you're going to see it's got last follow and then that GM streams. You're able to edit all of the text just above that. This is where you're able to get the color. I've got it set to white. You can even change what font you would like to use. I think family is what they've got for default. I left it as that. Once you choose your color, you can put an outline on the text, which will give it a little bit of a easier read. You can add a shadow, offset that shadow. I've found that a blur radius of seven, offset of X and Y of three and three is really clean for you to be able to see this overlay. Now, once that's done, it's set up and will sit there. But one of the things that might happen is the text might be going off of your image and that's where you're able to go down here under your text group and have your alignments set them up and for example i've had to do 54 pixels off of the right side so that it didn't bleed off this side i'll go ahead and put it to zero and let you show what happens as you see that z right there is actually sticking off of the image just very slightly so if i do 54 sure it's going to do some scrolling text Nothing's wrong with a little bit of animation on the screen, but it's not off of that image now. It's all stuck on there. Same thing at the bottom. I've got my follow goal. All I've done for this is under the add a new text group, I have the follows, which is my current number of follows that I have for the channel. And then my goal, I just typed slash and then my goal. And then that was able to put there. And then same thing for my subs. For the center part, I did the exact same thing as before, new text group. I linked my Twitter as well as my Twitch so that I can have those handles connected. All right, and then for alerts, right now I only have subscribers having a drop down, and it's my top center piece. When I click it, you'll see that it animates what I've set up. So when I get a new subscriber, it'll show that latest subscriber, which for me was Dr. Internet. But what you do is under the alerts section, you're able to choose that it would be event based. And then I was choosing Twitch subscribe, but they've got a whole host of things from cheers to chats to raids, rituals, community gifts, follows. And then you're able to choose a sound. They have a lot of them pre-installed. Choose the volume, what the animation will do with that image, as well as how long will it stay there. So when I get a new subscriber, this will come down for six seconds and then go back up. So to show you this in action, I'm actually gonna take you into some gameplay. This was a little bit of some Destiny 2 gameplay. I was playing in Crucible using this overlay and I'll let you see what it looks like from the viewer's perspective on a Twitch channel. So let's switch over to that really quick. 